this demo we will show how to do read scale out of a database uh, hosted on SQL Server to Azure using managed instance link feature. Uh, SQL Server is running on a VM in Azure as it can be seen in the Azure portal and uh, SQL Server version is 2022 and the addition is Enterprise. Uh, this capability is also supported on SQL Server versions 2016 and 2019. Uh, database that we wish to replicate is an encrypted database. Uh, we can see that the encryptor type for this database is a symmetric key, which in this demo is uh, hosted on Azure Key Vault. We have configured a cryptographic provider in SQL uh, Server to connect to Azure Key Vault. Uh, we'll replicate this database to a managed instance uh, which currently hosts no databases. Uh, this managed instance is uh, in business critical tier. Uh, to create replica of this database using the link feature, uh, we uh, start a wizard to create a new managed instance link in this matter. Introductory screens gives you some general information about the scenarios supported uh, with this feature. Then we provide the name of uh, this link, which will be the name of the data distributed availability group configured for this link, and we recommend leaving the other two options uh, on by default. Then some validation checks will be done on SQL Server to ensure that it supports creating the link. On the next screen, we select one or more databases to replicate. Uh, please note that uh, we get a warning here because this is an encrypted database, in which case you need to ensure that the managed instance you wish to replicate to has access to the very same key. And as you can see here, this managed instance has a customer managed key configured and this is the same key used to encrypt the database on SQL Server that uh, I have shown previously. Back to SSMS, we proceed to the next step. Uh, here there is a list of database replicas, currently that's primary replica only, and uh, we can see that uh, there are some parameters here that you can configure if you're creating a new link, that's IP address of the endpoint and uh, certificate to uh, secure this endpoint and endpoint name, and also some additional information for more advanced scenarios that should, you should be aware of. Also, there is a tab about backups. On SQL Server, it is mandatory to regularly take log backups if SQL Server is hosting the primary replica of the database. This is not necessary to do on SQL Managed Instance as log backups are automatically taken. And finally, there are some instructions here about configuring link endpoint to uh, which your application can use to connect to the primary replica of this database. Now we wish to add secondary database replica and this one will be hosted on SQL Managed Instance. All authentication types are supported. And uh, after logging in to uh, SQL Managed Instance, it will show up in this list as a secondary replica. Uh, please note that we cannot further customize any of the parameters as they are service managed. Also optionally, we can run this wizard to test connectivity between SQL Server and Managed Instance. This is something we won't do in this demo. Uh, then additional validation steps are done, this time on SQL Managed Instance to ensure the link can be configured. It takes just a short while all steps were successful so we can proceed and finally you get a list of all steps that will be executed to configure the link. Please note that you can script uh, all the commands that will be executed by SSMS and this can be convenient in case you wish to create your own scripts which you can further customize so if you prefer running scripts instead of SSMS this is something you can do. Uh, back to the wizard, we click on the next and uh, 
link configuration starts. It takes a short while. I've speeded up this part, but it usually completes under a, a minute. If any of the step fails, you will get additional information in the details column and it will help you understand what went wrong and how you can correct the problem. So the link has been uh, successfully created. Uh, you can note that on SQL Server now, some new items have been created. We have a new availability group, a new distributed availability group that Wizard created for this link. Uh, you can also note that on SQL Managed Instance there is now a new database and that is the secondary replica of the, C of the database we replicated from SQL uh, Server and also there is the same distributed availability group configured. It is visible on SQL MI as well. So, uh, currently this uh, database contains a single uh, table and we can quickly validate that the very same table has been uh, replicated to SQL managed instance. Now let's see uh, how we can create additional link and additional replica of this database, this time on different uh, managed instance. Uh, this managed instance is uh, of general purpose tier, as it can be seen in Azure portal. And uh, to create additional replica, we run the wizard again and I will speed this part up because the process is identical to the process of creating the first link. Uh, we will use a different link name, that is the important difference. And here we can again see that additional distributed availability group has been created for this new link. And we can see that a new database is now present on this general purpose managed instance and that database also contains the test table we have previously created. To demonstrate near real-time data replication via the link we will create additional table on the database on SQL Server and we will show that this table almost instantly appears on both database replicas that we have created previously. Here it is. In Azure portal, we can see that the database replicas have been created. This is on the general purpose instance, and this is on the business critical instance. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.